Okay, good morning and uh, welcome back to Roundtable members and friends uh, for another of our series of uh, workshops for the uh, IOM Roundtable on Population Health Improvement. Uh, I'm Dave Kindig uh, from the University of Wisconsin-Madison and along with George Isham, um, I chair this and uh, uh, happy to welcome you all here today, um, our roundtable members and the speakers. Let everybody know that this workshop is being recorded and webcast. It is webcast in its entirety and we'll take questions and comments from the virtual audience as time permits. If you're on Twitter, we'll be using the hashtag uh, PopHealthRT. So this roundtable, uh, actually I'm noticing lots of friends um, in the audience and so uh, most people know what I'm about to say, but um, this roundtable provides a trusted venue for leaders from the public and private sectors to meet and discuss the leverage points and opportunities arising from changes in the social and political environment for achieving better population health. The Roundtable's vision is of a strong, healthful, and productive society which cultivates human capital and equal opportunity. All of this rests on the pop health vision um, that outcomes that we seek, such as improved life expectancy, quality of life, health for all, um, our equity focus, that these things are not shaped by health care alone, but they're shaped by this wide set of interdependent um, social, economic, environmental, genetic, behavioral factors, health care factors, and, and they will require robust national and community-based policies and dependable resources to achieve it. How's that for a goal and a vision? And a, but that's what, that's what we're about. Um, as one of our major activities, this roundtable holds workshops like this for members, stakeholders, and the public to discuss issues of importance to improving our nation's health. Today's workshop on modeling will feature presentations and discussions about the modeling approaches in informing these efforts to improve health. That whole last paragraph I read is obviously a complex paragraph and understanding how that all works together. Uh, modeling you know, is a tool that can help us and that's what today is about. In addition to the general interest in this topic by roundtable members and almost the necessity of being able to understand and use these tools, uh, we, we stand, uh, this workshop sort of stands on a recommendation, hopefully not to be uh, forgotten, in one of the previous IOM public health reports, I think in 2012, a committee that Steve co-chaired with Martha Gold, and there was a, re a specific recommendation six in that report that said that um, it was actually specifically to the government, HNHS, although implicitly to the field, should, we need to coordinate the development and uh, the uses of predictive and system-based simulation models to understand the health consequences of underlying determinants of health and to assess the intended and unintended consequences associated with policy, funding, investment and resource options. So that's a consensus recommendation of the IOM. And so hopefully this workshop will bring that to light and shed some light on it and maybe some momentum um, to move ahead on that. Um, I want to thank Steve Teutsch and the rest of the planning committee for organizing this workshop. Um, those committee members were Anna Diaz-Rue, Martha Gold, David Mendez, Bobby Milstein, Pasky Pasquale, Louise Russell, and Steve Wolf. A list of the planning committee members and their bios are included in your meeting materials along with um, the bios of all the speakers. Before we start, which we will do momentarily, I'd like to say that this meeting announces uh, three new members to our roundtable. We're able to add um, people and competencies as, as we go along. And those three members today are Charles Fazio, who's the health plan medical director at Health Partners, 
in uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Alan Gilbert, Director of Global Government and NGO Strategy at Healthy Imagination General Electric, and Bobby Milstein, Director of Rethink Health, who helped us with this. I won't introduce the rest of the roundtable members, but they are seated in the front rows here, and the uh, complete roster is provided in your packet. If you have logistics questions as the day proceeds, please talk to our staff at the registration table. Um, note that the meeting materials include items given to staff in advance. Other materials will be posted after the workshop. Uh, finally, please note that speakers and moderators' views presented during this workshop are their own and do not necessarily reflect those of their organizations. Okay, now on to the day. Um, I'd like to start by um, introducing Louise Russell, who will moderate the first set of presentations. Louise is Distinguished Professor at the Institute for Health Healthcare Policy and Aging Research and in the Department of Economics at Rutgers University. Her research focuses on the methods and applications of cost effectiveness analysis, and I'm sure her work uh, is known to everyone in this room for the importance it's had in our field. Louise was also a member of the Workshop Planning Committee. Louise. Uh, 